guys welcome back to another video of the t dragon today we got the brand new update which is aka the update of the bounty hunter and plus the brand new game mode 2v2 it's not duo it's a completely different thing so uh it's like a duo but only with two teams which i would say is pretty good to play with a friend like uh Duo have much more unstable ability, which is, uh, contain a lot of stuff, no matter teaming, hacking. In 2v2, I only seen one hacker out of, like, 20 game uh, from my friend and my experience, so it's not gonna be that, like, common to have a hacker. Hackers just go to 30v30 and have fun. So, usually, yeah. And if you say what well, kid is good, I have to just many, but before we start, remember to press the like, subscribe, and also turn on the it will really help a lot, and let's get into the video. Okay, back to the game, and let's see what we got. So, this game mode, I have many kit for suggestion, if you want to play a super super quick style, you will definitely have to play Grim Reaper or Elder Tree, which is both, I say, pretty good. 2v2 is actually a pretty quick game mode in my opinion, so usually fast kit are good, that's why I'm using the warrior. Which should actually create the problem that you might not have enough iron, because you only have one iron spawner. Which is aka getting generator is very important. Rush, generator, and also mid control, that's all you basically have to do. And what I liked is that sometimes if you got other team bed and they only have one people left, doesn't mean they lost, like there's always chance of a comeback. And also I would say that for this game mode, uh... There's a bunch of people are good. You can have me melody combo with Elder Tree, a very strong combo. Or what you can do is Jade go with Grim Reaper. Jade do that distraction and Grim Reaper go in. Hate to kill. And also we got the brand new. Actually, I was always wondering why is that light is cyan instead of uh green i would think green look much more beautiful honestly in my opinion but anyway it dev choice i can't say anything about it but i would just say that well yes the uh, if i if they actually put uh, the green color it will look much more better in my opinion because i don't know why it just make it actually like a bounty hunter and plus on the thumbnail it actually shows okay it. so we continue and i was going hop in the game with my soloing and let's see how can we perform they haven't added on the leaderboard yet i have no idea what win streak what win streak of 2v2 i'm on but i guess it's probably like three due to, from my experience but sadly, I have to make the other video, I guess, tomorrow, because today I got the problem. Okay, so they perfectly make it level 16, which is, if they make it level 15, I can surely get it today. But they make it level 16, and also they buffed the weekly mission by 2000 XP. Well, I will say that it's completely useless. You still need so much effort. Okay, so now we got six weeks and five days. So in five days, I have to try to grind six level, which is a uh, big for the amount of effort I have to put in to get that. Because every day I can only get about one level because you need so many wins, so many effort to even done that. And then, if you manage to complete it, the battle pass without paying anything, you will definitely get a lot of wins. Because the amount of effort you need to spend is very insane, no matter daily quest. Because it's about, okay, so the 7 week of, the technically 8 week, 7, 8 week of battle pass, and you have to actually, uh, if there's 50 tier and there is 7 week, you have to get about... Uh, I will say, no, actually you have to consider at 35 days, so, 35 days, it's actually 5 weeks, it's not, a, wait, no, it's actually 7 weeks, so, actually, the time is a bit longer, I think, from the start, they adjusted a little, so that is actually better, because we have more, uh, time to do it, so, 5 days mean every week, I mean, 5 weeks have to get 10 level per week, which is genuinely impossible. Now we're gonna hop into the duo with our warrior kit and let's- Okay, we hop into 2v2 and wait, what? Oh wait, wait, what? So, the enemy team left. Wait, what? Wait a minute, wait. So, the enemy team left and uh, I won? No, now I just gotta destroy their bed because uh, from my game experience, like, 
of when I was playing costume game, I think when there's nobody on the other team, you just have to boom their bed. So now I gotta get, uh, what to go, 24, iron, okay, come on, 24, okay, got it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 48, should be enough. <coughs> okay, so if I go rush the bed, we won, because, uh, I have no idea, it just, okay, so they also added stick new map, I believe. This sick new map, I haven't had them all yet. Maybe I'll later go have a test and look around to see what's interesting. And I'm just gonna claim a free win now, I guess. Okay. If I bang it. Ooh. Okay, I just got a completely free win. Thanks, uh, low. I just got a completely free win. Okay, I see that was pretty interesting. Another game over here. Let's try this out. Hope we can success again. The last time the problem is that uh, we didn't leave one guy in defense. If you actually have... Okay, okay. Can you defend? And hi. Okay, so basically you gotta keep one guy defending. That is very... No more, and I find out most people doesn't get the tactic of rushing. So if I actually manage to pair over, like if I didn't die, if that guy didn't rush us, we will, I will be able to take out them so easily. Oh no, this guy also understands with the pyro, but he doesn't have enough. Wool. He built it bad, but it end up in not enough wool. Wait, can I get one up, bro? Can I get one? I need pyro. I need pyro. I need pyro. I need pyro. Come, 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 pyro. Quick, quick. Okay. Pero, oh no, yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my pero and also my act for the instant rush. Okay, I don't think he can actually rush. Okay, I'm gonna just protect the bed real quicky. So it doesn't really look that weak, and we it will save some time for rushing. Okay, now we got, we can buy two double pickaxe and also a uh, pero. Boom. Okay, so. So they're not rushing mid yet, and I believe I can just yeet their bed off. Okay. Oh no, they got an entire... I gotta walk from the sideway, I guess. Hope he can manage to somehow defend it. Oh no, oh no, I don't think he can actually defend it. Oh wait, he's a Grim. He's a Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper. Ah, Grim Reaper. Come on, Grim. I have to waste that on defense, sadly. And I have to somehow waste that on defense. No, he won't be able to get it. Yeah, he won't be able to get it. Ah, uh, wait out on defense. Okay, so now to get another two pero because I have to wait out on defense. Otherwise, we will have a high chance of fail. Okay, boom. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm getting it. So they, oh my god, that bad defense. Okay. Don't worry. It's not really a wasted. Still, that's better than just dying straight away, I guess. Okay, so now I gotta get a uh, much better stuff to even prepare the rush. So I guess I will get a this and... So now I have to try to just focus on getting a better loot before I actually go to do anything. I'm gonna buy a balloon and a peril. Okay. So I got the peril ready and I believe I need another iron pickaxe. Okay. So this is this is usually what I will bring when in like when I fail the first wave. If there's anyone come to encounter me, I'll just bring this and I believe it actually have a high chance of success. Okay, I'm gonna peril on top of it. Okay, I'm going to, I have to fight him off, I have to fight him off, fight him off, fight him off, fight him off, easy. Okay, I'm gonna get at the bed and I'm going to run. Bye, have a beautiful time, you, you failed. Okay, see ya, that was how you do it. I I guess it's nice and simple, but warrior kit wasn't very good, I'm honest. So if I got something like uh, Elder Tree, I will actually use Elder Tree, but still Elder Tree have uh, advantages in not a slow fight. So now bows are very important, I believe. Okay, so what is going on? Okay, so I'm gonna go get some armor real quicky. I'm gonna go get an armor, armor, and a stone sword. Okay. So they might come to rush us, obviously. They might. Oh, wow, that diamond armor is cheesy. I got Pyro. I can rush one of them. I can rush one of them. Okay. So he's going to somehow actually trying to fight me off. Okay. Come on, come on, fight me. Fight this guy off. Okay, good. He's gonna die. Yeah, GG, GG. Okay, now we officially know it's a GG because the other guy is just gonna die by my peril. But first, I got to attack. Okay, rush. Wait, why, why, why? Don't. Rush. Wait, why don't? Wait, what? Look. Wait, why look? What, what, what do you want? Huh? Wait, what? Hmm? Well, I wonder what is he doing right now. 
Uh, oh, he had the bread. Okay, he have a he have a bread. He have a bread. Okay, later we'll show what that bread do actually does. It's actually super OP. The this bread is insane. Oh wow, well, <laughs> I like how he make that. So it's kind of funny. Okay, I get this is the victory. Here we go. This is Knight and Tempo the Underworld. Okay, I like how they design it. I actually so it's like uh so the bed is the uh longer one instead of the shorter one well that what i don't like usually when i rush i love to have a much more bigger uh much more shorter range of between bed but i really like how they design it so we're just going to a random team and we're going to start a match okay so those are all like obsidian around you which is i would say pretty cool but the back position uh this map rush will be very very hard so imagine you're coming from here uh, if you're coming from up there i can just build a bridge and eat you off here which is actually rushing from this side will be a much better idea since this you can't like join the bed without the enemy notice you have to fight them off before you can actually do it but i just really want to test something can you actually get so, usually I know a lot of camper will just camp underground for uh, experience, which is aka the EXP, but honestly that's a pretty tr good track, cause sometimes if I really need XP, I'll, I'll use it, Be because it's not that fun, and okay, so you can actually build, uh, you really can't, so this is not a very good hiding map for all the campers, I guess, so we're going to actually go to mid, so the mid is pretty far, it's not that close, so... I get you also have to spend some wool on this and and also building from this side will be much more easier map tour map tour okay so in mid there's a bunch of holes around and they're full oh whoa whoa so this is a double earth map and you tell me it's got oh my oh no that that is I thought that is sick generator because one two three four five six it's actually not so it's something completely different uh, mid area is just a like a hole. It's like a I don't know some sort of a church I guess. Okay, so this is also here. The Emerald didn't even bomb because it's basically nobody. And in mid I would say it's pretty cool. It like it's similar to another map design that I can't really remember. And you can camp on the top, which is epic. You can actually do some sniper plays here. Then so first, this is a perfect sniper. Mayhem. So it's like, oh, that dude crossing the bridge, bang. He's, he just get yeet off right away. But I guess now we're going to go to the aquatic base map. Okay, so we are on the main island right now. We're going to look around. It looks like, so this, I would say, it looks like half of a SpongeBob. Well, is this like a cursed version of SpongeBob? You can see through the window, which is, ah, uh, okay, not a bad. Well, I don't, I just don't really like how to design this map, but I guess, okay, so, wait, if I got pure, can I teleport under there to create an unstoppable glitch? Oh, wait, I can actually test it, that will actually gotten pretty interesting. So, I guess the emerald spawn is, uh, like, so in mid, it's really dark, and it's like, okay, I can't really understand this, so what is this? Oh, okay, so there's a glass on top of there. I guess you can go up within it. Oh, wow, this is the first map. I can actually see it there that goes up. And uh, it's like a vault, I guess. It's so it's like a vault plate, and you can go even higher on the top of the world. Okay, so here we go on the top of the world, which is another good sniping spot, but it's a little much more weaker. I'm going to jump down right now. It's going to hurt me a lot. Okay. Though around me there's like uh, different colors represent of squad and also those stuff. Okay, I'm not going to fall down. Boom. And the generator is all around here. And what is this wall for? I'm not here. You can actually use that as a pretty good cover though. That is too. Okay, so this map doesn't really have a lot of fallouts brought. Like, most likely nobody will fall off that using this map. There's no tiny hole. I don't really like tiny hole map, but still, it, it's actually pretty... Uh, tiny hole wasn't a big deal once you get used to it. Now we're going to get Pero and see will it actually work, the one I'm talking about. Like, just put her under. Imagine how, imagine how ridiculous would that be when enemies see you. Because then, you will 100% win. Because you can just camp there till enemy leave. Which is... 
I would say a really, really illegal strategy. Don't try it because I bet you're gonna like get it, 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 a level of exploit if it actually works. But hope so it doesn't work. Otherwise, ah, bed will have to do some a lot extra work. Okay, I'm going to throw it. Oh no, you can't. So it will gone completely. It will just disappear. So I guess that wasn't really gonna be working. Here we go with the new weapon. We're going to show you later after you got some emerald. Uh, no, not emerald. The weapon is yes, a bread knocked back bagute. Wow. So uh, a lot of people, I, even I was quite shocked. I was like, what is the bread gonna do in a battle like this? In reality, the turnout is one of the most OP is weapon in the game. So I'm going to bridge over to my old and buy it and show you guys what it's actually going to be and do a little. This is perfect for defending. So this this weapon is actually the most perfect for defending in my mind. Nothing can beat it in defending except bow. Of course, bow is a huge knockback that even more. Okay, so we got it. We got the French bread. Yes. Once you die, this bread disappears. But that is not the thing. So the regular sword knockback is about two uh two blocks. So. It's about two and a half block if you really want to say it. But if you are really thinking about how much the Bagute can do, we're going to let my old go on the bridge and we're going to test how many can that do. Okay, so this is the regular sword knockback. This is the Bagute knockback. Look at that. You know how cute that is? So uh, w let's compare it again. Hit it with the okay. My ult is nearly falling off. I guess I have to turn it around a bit. So as you can see, it only knock out a very tiny bit. So it's not even a lot, honestly. So it's only about this distance. And if you use the bagute, it's bang. Uh, you can just completely wipe someone out of the existence with this bagute bread. It's about triple of the knockback a sword can do. And it only costs 30 iron, so in the map that have a bunch of holes, like tea time, that map, you can use it so easily. Imagine when you just yeet someone's bed and just bang. Okay, we're back. And then they're just off, like they just break. Oh, whoa. That was pretty cool. I guess I can just finish off with sword. You can bang someone so far away, but it's actually pretty easy to counter. First, if you use it in a map that doesn't have a lot of holes, completely use that. Second, uh, if that guy managed to aim a good angle, like the so we're fighting, I try to. If I only have the bread, I'm trying to knock you off. But all you have to do is face a direction that can't, you can't get knocked off in some direction. So, but they might jump over. What you have to do is, I guess. Oh, come on, my ult survive again. Bang, bang. But the bread is a little weird at hitbox. So if you see that, I can't hit him. So the bread is like. You have to actually wait. What? Hello? Wait. This is this, this is not normal. Wait. My old didn't went to. Okay, I'm just gonna let him jump off real quickly. So that was pretty surprising. I have no idea why does it didn't work. But so this is the brand new bread. It's so OP. You can play. Uh, I guess. Uh, you can play. Well, you can play a lot of ball game with this update. I guess since like uh, you can. So you can like try to fight who you can play uh rope rope pulling I guess that's how you call it. You can just play rope pulling with your friend like bang bang bang. Because it sent it does I guess one damage. Once you have armor it does completely zero. So uh I guess it's just for that knockback. You can't do anything else with it. And the video today, hope you enjoy watching. Please remember to press the like, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you'll miss any more video of the channel. And see you next time with the Bounty Hunter Kid. Bye guys, see you next time.